She's one of Australia's most recognisable faces. Deb Hutton has graced our screens and magazines since the age of just 16. But she's now revealing that sun-kissed skin was a little too sun-kissed after a very shock close call with skin cancer. I was scared because it was too when it was bigger. And I sit there going, well, so what am I going to lose a lip? Do I lose half my nose? This is my calling card. This is what I've made this a career. Business. This is my business. This is my face. And so it's very, confront it's very confronting. Do you know what your time frame was? You know, if you had left this another three months, six months, it could have been even more aggressive? That's the feeling I got. I had a mate come to pick me up from surgery and they said, um, don't go and buy a lottery ticket today. She's already won the lottery. Mm. Yeah, that was last night on A Current Affair. It was a really powerful interview and Deb Hutton joins us now from Sydney. Good morning, Deb. Always good to chat. And I tell you oh, what... Oh, it's beautiful to see you guys. I tell you what, when you hear the C word, you do think the worst, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and look, I think we've always had this ambivalence with skin cancer, or I feel I have, because um, it's really prevalent in my family. Uh, but, you know, so I was speaking to a doctor and he said, listen, let's be very clear about this, Deb. This is, this is you might call it skin cancer, but it is cancer. You have a form of cancer. And it was just, um, it just kind of made me stop for a minute. I thought, okay, this is pretty serious and we need to kind of deal with it um, seriously. And I just wanted to you know, to sort of share that story. I think it's incredibly courageous um, to show people what you went through and, and it would have been difficult for you to do that. Um, when you woke up and, and you saw the effects of, of all those, of all that stitching, I mean, how, how did you navigate through that? Um, well, I was a bit shocked. Um, and the photograph that I posted of, the, of that particular photograph you're showing, um, the nurse actually took it because I went in there thinking that we're just going to change some wadding. And then she said, oh, no, 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 we're actually going to take the stitches out. I'm going, no, 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 just leave it where it is. I said, just take a photo because I have no idea, you know, what the, the surgeon's done. And uh, look, it's, it's just, I suppose the fact that I'd been through it before nine years ago that I was like, oh, God, I'm, I'm back here again. Yeah. And, and, you know, and I'd sort of forgotten the processes. But, you know, it just... I wanted to turn this into something positive. I sat there feeling sorry for myself for a few hours and I thought, you know, Deb, you're okay, you're fine, you're well off, they've got it. Um, and that's the most important thing. So I, I was just, I thought it's an important story to share. And it actually made me feel a lot better about the surgery and, um, and what's happening and all the amazing people I've had around me. Um, in support, you know, doctors, dermatologists, etc. There's some pretty incredible mm. people out there. Yeah, I mean, the thing I found really in uh, or amazing about your story, Deb, is because you've had this surgery before, as you said, nine years ago, and it came back and it came back in the sa exactly the same spot. And the response that you received on social media when you went ahead and you shared your journey with um, skin cancer. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Ali, it's been extraordinary. Even last night after being on A Current Affair, I've been swamped with people and it's so... I feel so grateful to be able to share this and, I, and also very grateful that people are sharing their stories with me and I'm hearing some horrific stories. I'm hearing some amazing stories, people who are going through uh, melanoma surgery. Um, I'm getting shots posted to me. Um, I'm finding it a bit hard to get back to everyone, but I'm going to work through that. Uh, people are also asking me, you know, about scar healing and things like that. So I feel like I'm becoming a bit of a resource and I'm very, very happy to go down that track and to help people obviously to spread the word, um, to work with Chris O'Brien Lifehouse, to do whatever I can, mm. because it's such an important thing. We live in a country, we are sunbaked, and we still, when I go down to the beach to Bronte, I'm seeing young kids still lying there, you know, just soaking up the sun and getting burnt. I'm like... If I can just make them double think about something and if I can make my generation get out there and do something and just get your skin checked, it's as simple as that, then it just mm. makes this whole thing worthwhile. Yeah, it's such an important message, Deb, and we love you. Great Glad to, to see, see you're you. okay. We'll see you oh, it's soon. It's all good. It's all good. Thanks, Ali. <laughs> Great to see you. Nice to see you, Deb. All right. Well, Carl's here too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> he's Carl's a little, he's a little needy this morning. <laughs> Carl's here too. <laughs> In fact, you're a little bit needy most mornings. Yeah, thanks, Ali. Yeah. Uh, like something I've worked on over the years, you know, just to be present. <laughs> just...